Hi, this is Pastor Roger from Mount Zion United Methodist Church at Peach Bottom, and it's time for our weekly message for young people, for the children in our lives. Now, what do I have here? Take a look. Let's see what it is. Oh, looks like a thank you gift, right? It says thank you. Looks like a little plant. So we, uh, uh, you know, when people are not feeling well, or uh, I'm sorry, when people are are, are, have done something special for you, it's uh, polite to send them a thank you gift of some kind or a thank you card. And uh, Have you ever sent or received a thank you card? A lot of people have, and I certainly have. But we have a lot to be thankful for in our uh, lives every day. But sometimes we forget to say those two little words in response to something that somebody does when they do something nice for us or something kind. And that is what happens in the Bible story that we're sharing today. The story is about ten lepers. Now, do you know what a leper is? Possibly not. A leper is a person who has a disease called leprosy. And leprosy was very common 2,000 years ago in Jesus' day. And uh, it causes sores. Ooh all over the body. Leprosy was very common. And people who had this disease were thought to be dirty or unclean. In fact, they had to go around calling out, unclean, unclean. And they were, they had to, the rules said that they had to stay away from other people because of the fear that they might infect other people with this terrible disease called leprosy. So one day in our Bible story, Jesus was walking through a small village when he saw a group of ten lepers. And they stood far away. They had to. Uh, They stayed away from Jesus, and they called out to him, Jesus, Master, have pity on us! Obviously, they knew who Jesus was and that he had the power to heal them. And when Jesus heard them, he called back to the lepers and said, Go show yourself to the priest. The priest? Okay. So the lepers went on their way to see the priest. But as they were going, they looked at their skin and the sores were all gone. Jesus had healed their disease. And they were so happy that they ran up and down the streets singing and dancing. And But suddenly, suddenly, one of them stopped and he went back. And praising God with a loud voice, he threw himself at Jesus' feet and said, Thank you. And Jesus said to him, Wait a minute. Weren't there ten who were healed? Where are the other nine? Only one out of the ten remembered to come back and say thank you to Jesus. You know, God does so much for us. Every day he provides everything we need, food and clothing, a place to live. Do we ever forget to say thank you? So let's stop right now and say thank you. Can we do that? And ask God to help us remember to thank him every day. Okay? Okay. That's our message for today for young people. Appreciate you tuning in. Before we go, let's pray together. Dear Lord, You give us everything we need, but we often forget to say thank you. We thank you now, and we ask you to help us to remember to give thanks every day for all that you do for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So we'll see you next week with our online message for young people. That's uh, Sunday at 12 noon, but remember in the meantime that you can like, if you're watching on Facebook, you can like and share this video. And that way, all your online friends, your brothers, your sisters, your school classmates, your neighbors, uh, your aunts and uncles, you know, your whole family, everybody you know on Facebook will be able to see this video, which is pretty cool. So we appreciate if you do that for us. Remember to like and share today's video. Thanks so much. We'll see you next Sunday at 12 noon. Until then, you just have a wonderful and blessed week. Bye-bye now.